You're watching Orange Nation TV. This is homecoming week from Orange Nation TV when we're preparing for our game this Friday against El Toro from Orange County. Abigail Metch here with Orange Nation TV. I'm here with Ramsey Romano. So Ramsey, you've thrown a bunch of touchdown passes in the past few weeks. How many have you thrown in the last two games? Um, in the last two games, it's actually been nine. Um, but I have to credit all that to my receivers, just getting the ball to them, making great plays, and getting in the end zone. And uh, it's all on my O line, also. They're giving me great time back there. Ben Howard had the school record for touchdown receptions in the past few games. Did he pay you any money to throw it to him that many times? Um, no, he didn't actually. That was against Madison. But um, I should actually pay him. I think I've traded him to lunch one or two times because uh, that was all on him, just getting the ball to him, and he made, he made the great plays. What's been the highlight and the low point of the season so far for you? Um, I'd say the high point definitely was the last drive against um, Morris last week. Just going down there and uh, making the winning score and finishing the game on top. That was definitely the highlight. And the low point had to be uh, the close loss to Mir Mesa. Um, just a close game that we just didn't come out on top so far. This coming Friday is our homecoming game. What do you think El Toro does best defensively? Um, well, El Toro is a very, they're a very disciplined team. They're very, they're coached very well. Um, it's going to be hard to find weaknesses in their defense. But um, if anything, I'd say do the little things right, make complete the passes when they're there, make the blocks, and uh, I think we should, uh, I think it'll be a very good game, but I think we can come out on top. Well, best of luck the rest of the season. Thanks for being here, Ramsey. Thank you. I'm here with Nehemiah Brown. Speaking of that winning play that Ramsey was just talking about, here's the person who made that catch. Can you describe how this game went? Uh, well, there were 20 seconds left in the previous play, so I looked at the scoreboard and there was time was running out. Uh, coach called my number and uh, I took it in the end zone. You play on two different sides of the ball. Which one do you like best? Uh, well, I like running back because I get to you know control the pace of the game and you know score some touchdowns for the team. And on defense, I like uh, you know stopping the offense so we can uh, get the ball back. What's your favorite moment of the season so far? Uh, definitely scoring a winning touchdown and uh, getting the game winning interception to end the game. You have Altoro coming up this Friday. How do you guys plan to stop that? Well, uh, our coach putting in a lot of good packages uh, for coverage, so we're gonna play a lot of man to man and a couple zones and uh, switch it up on them so they don't know what's coming. Good luck this season. Thanks for being here. Here with back-to-back -back interviews of Spencer Hubbard. Spencer, you just set our school record for 23 tackles. Can you tell us about this? Uh, yeah. Well, when I'm out there, you know, I just got to make every tackle I can. And uh, if when I see the running back coming up the hole, I'm going to come up there and hit him. And I got 23 opportunities, and I made them as, much, as much as I could. I made, it, made the plays. So this Friday, you're playing El Toro, a team that throws the ball a lot. How are you playing to stop that? Um, well, coming off like last week, it was all running the ball, so I had to come up. But this week, when they're passing the ball, I gotta stay in my coverage, stay in my zones, and when the ball's in there, go get it and not let them get it. So, do you have any idea how often this quarterback throws the ball? Um, I know he threw the ball for about 40 for some, and for 40 out of 60 something times. So he throws the ball a lot. Definitely gonna get a lot of action. You think we're gonna have a chance for another interception? Oh, you should get a couple more. Good luck the rest of the season. Thanks for being here. Thank you. Hi, I'm Christian Howard, and I'm here on Orange Nation TV, and I'm here with Coach Collins. So, Coach Collins, what has been your most exciting moment this season? Um, well, it was definitely probably this last game that we had. Um, we had the ball with about under two minutes to go. And we were down by five, and we had to score, and that's kind of what we prepare for every week, and that's what that's what we want is the ball in our hands at the end of the game so that we can go, go win, and that's what we were able to do. So, are you looking forward to beating El Toro? Oh, yeah. We... Well, we'll see if we can win, but we have definitely look forward to playing them. Um, they run a similar style offense and defense that we run. And, uh, you know, our goal is to, to run a lot of plays on offense, and they they have the same goal. So it's going to be um, a lot of plays. They, they go no huddle, and so do we, and it should be an exciting one. We're excited. So do you think school has affected any of your players and how they play on the field? And... Um, well, we hope that football affects how they act in school and that's our one of our biggest goals here and the whole reason we have the program is so that football should improve what they do in the classroom, how they act and, and hopefully give them motivation to do well. As far as them um, being affected by it, um, you know, school's first so that's not really a concern. I mean, if they do well in school and come out here and do well, that's what, that's what we're looking for. So I've heard that 
the Ontario quarterback likes to throw a lot. Can you tell me a little bit more about what he does? Yeah, he's a great player. He set the Orange County record for passing yards last year, and that's over guys like Matt Barkley um, from USC. And uh, they, you know, he threw for 64 times in his first game, I believe, and it's been a lot since. And they want to they want to come out and throw the ball, and he does a pretty good job. So he'll definitely be a challenge for us this week. But hopefully, we can match it offensively. Do you think, is there any part of their defense that you think will be a struggle for you and your offense? Um, they definitely do a good job of taking away the deep threats. Um, they stay back and they, they make you kind of dink and dunk. So we'll, we'll, you know, they'll take away some of our big plays, but we can compensate in other ways, hopefully. Okay. So is there anything that you are changing with your offense just to cope with playing Otto? Yeah, we have a few things in mind. I, you know, this is going to be up on the internet, so I probably won't tell you now. But, but we have a few things in mind that a few adjustments that we'll make. Yeah, we'll we'll try a few things here and there. Absolutely. Thank you, Coach Collins. Thank you. This has been Abigail Mitch. I'm Christian Howard. You're watching Orange Nation TV.